Broadcasting live from downtown Las Vegas, you're tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. Welcome, welcome. This is Girl Chat Sports. Hey. hey. <laughs> I wait for Mel to say something. Mel just like in the zone here. I'm Man, like, I swear going? the intro always be confusing because I'm like, that's not, we're not on yet. 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 So, yeah. here we are. We're on. Yeah. Bam. So. Welcome back to Girl Chat Sports. This is episode 130. It's been 30 episodes already, Mo. 30 yeah, episodes. Yeah, can you believe that? Here up in Gorilla Cross Radio. Shout I out to Quan. Shout out to the unnamed sports show. Our guys over at Let the Ball Bounce. Las Vegas Sports Daily. Shout out to Mike Dixon yesterday holding it down for us. Yeah, too. shout out to Mike Dixon, to TJ too. They were TJ, doing it. Yep. We appreciate we always game. appreciate our guys. We've seen oh. our guys out there too. So it, was, it makes the fun, the events more fun. You know what I mean? We'll get to the event specifically in a minute. Well, let's talk about our girl here. I get yeah. to see you in person finally. Hey. Because last time we had uh, Cassandra, the sports nista here in, in, in show, I was on vacay, uh-huh. which does happen, right? <laughs> and, and so I wasn't here for that show. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad to have you here because we're going to talk about some boxing. I know you're really you're a big into boxing. You cover a lot of boxing events. Sure do. I'm still in my learning phase with uh-huh. boxing. Like I know when I was younger, I was big into heavyweight, like you know Mike Tyson mm-hmm. and stuff and stuff like that. But since then, I know people are like, well, you live in Vegas, and you should. Know. And I'm like, I get it. Like I'm trying. Yeah, I'm there's trying. a lot. There's a lot to cover though. But it's like there's so many, you know, divisions. There's so many, you know, ranks. It's like, you know, minor league and major league <laughs> and, and farm team and double A and triple A. But it's all that yeah. into bantam weight, super weight, featherweight. Yeah. So if you're watching now, keep watching because we'll be able to explain hopefully a little bit more of that. We're going to have um, a Colin guest. Okay. And I should have could enough. Uh, we with. also have a guest coming in uh, shortly, actually a pop-in guest. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that'll be dope. Wonderful. Yeah, to talk about our upcoming Las Vegas event yes. with Game Work, so we met. So you I know him. Egypt. Oh, yeah, Egypt. 100 Egyptian deep. lover. 100 deep. Yeah. 100 deep group <laughs> in the building. 100. So, like, they're capped out. Like, yeah. it can't be 101. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to be 100 deep coming in. Yeah, baby. Oh, uh, wow. Listen. It's going to get hot. <laughs> Bring your own fan. <laughs> All right. So, well, let's get started with just, um, I know what we can do. We can start with, let's just start going to last night a little bit. Yeah, I'll you go to last night? Yeah. Big three was amazing. Yes, the big was. three draft. Oh, so I did the first year when they were out here for the first draft. It was in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it w- you know, in the scale of what it is now, it was not that much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ice Cube has definitely pushed this through. He's made this turn. Well, not this turn, but this league into something pretty extensive. Where there was 133 guys. Some of them looked like they could have been your grandpa. Yeah. 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 You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. And um, but they're all there trying to still get in. So it's obviously doing something. You Absolutely. got big names coming back in. Absolutely. You got Lamar Odom that was there. Right. Um, which was amazing to talk to. We talked to him. Shout out to Hello. Yes. And uh, Lisa Leslie is yeah, Lisa Leslie. Yeah. yeah, we talked to Nancy Lieberman. She is an amazing lady. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, best dress goes to Katina Mobley because this man had his Tom Ford on. And it was tailored. Like they made it on him. Like they, it looks like he fell asleep and woke up in it. Yeah. Like it was just Basically perfectly. Basically like I woke up like this. <laughs> Basically, it was amazing. Like, oh, it was like amazing. That. It was amazing. And coming from a fashion background, he did it. That Tom Ford is pretty much you've arrived when you wear. You've Tom arrived Ford, when, when you, you wear, wear some it. Tom Ford. <laughs> that, that ain't for no amateur. That's it for sure. is not. Yeah. But it was a. It was. It was at the. I did my first time there. Was at that H. It the, was at the E. Yeah, sports. Sports. sports arena. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. neat mm-hmm. in there. It's neat in there. Which used really to be a cool. club when I first moved here. It was raw. Oh, club yeah. raw used to be off the chain. Oh, is by that the way. raw? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And then LAX different. too, right? 
Yep, then LAX. So yeah. they have it in there, and it's, I mean, it's a beautiful spot. It's, it's, yeah, beautiful. it's beautiful. So yeah. they had it all decked out with the banners for all the 12 teams, because now they have 12 teams. I think it was nine last year or 10. So they've added two or three. Yeah, I think they added three teams this year. They've extended it to be not just one game a week, but it's going to be like two or I think two games a week. Two games on Saturdays and Sundays. So Through they're trying CBS. to bring a family uh, element mm-hmm. into it. So they don't want to, the Friday nights just work as far as ratings and viewership. Yeah wasn't a good look so they just decided they do a yeah, Saturday it. Sunday move it it's listen it, it's a faster pace than um than the NBA because the court is so small it's a half court yeah. game so you're three on three and they're yeah. so I mean and a lot of those players look they could they could still shoot and then and they don't have to move down up and down a full court now. and, can well, I and they can hand check and they yeah. can actually play and like they, they, they use play. moves there's moves yeah. you can do that don't call foul or warn yeah. any kind of penalties absolutely and to tell you the truth, the first round all started off with the bigs. Like, they all of recruited course. big guys. So that's where the league out. is going. Yeah. It's, it's the opposite of the NBA, right? Right, where mm-hmm. small ball, we're right. going big. Yeah. No particular skill position. Now they right. want the four and five. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a great time. So shout out to Royce White, number yeah. one. Number one draft, draft pick. pick. Interesting I wonder guy. how he's going to travel. Interesting guy. How's he going to travel? I like he had a shirt Apparently that said take drive. flight on. I take flight. He's going to have to He's going to have to drive. drive. And you you didn't play with Houston Rockets. You gave up all that money so you because you can't fly on the plane? Well, Wait, God, that's what the story is? I didn't know the yeah. story. Tell, yeah. me yes. the, tell us the story. The T is that. He but we wouldn't gotta, fly? He has, he, he wouldn't he fly. has a diagnosed a, mental a, illness. illness. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he, he really pushed for NBA mental yeah. advocacy really? and all that kind of stuff and recognizing. And Absolutely. That's like, tough though to nope. be able to, but especially when it's like long distances. Like how are yeah. you? Yeah. He may he not make it. it to all the games. I, I mean, I can't see it being logistically feasible I mean, to be driving. I mean, because the teams have to pay for his transportation. But well, they they well, well, that, well the opening night, opening day is going to be in Atlanta on the 22nd. Yeah, so, I mean, today. he's got time to get there. <laughs> but, I mean, they picked him that, knowing. Yep, it is. So, you, honestly, they had to know something or work yeah. something out with him. So, yeah, I don't I know so. how. I think they know he's not going to make it to every right. single game. Right. And uh, that's, and, and I can get for him for sticking with it he obviously has you know a real diagnosed illness and and he was um, mma too he's yeah. mma as well like he's both yeah he got to stop getting hit in the head yeah uh, <laughs> if he can play basketball <laughs> but we do have a clip uh if kwan is ready to cue it up shout out to kwan girl across here in the building our producer yeah extraordinary. um with uh his interaction with michael rapaport uh-huh. it's oh that was hilarious. so amazing it's it was hilarious. hilarious it's so hilarious <laughs> We got so, it. Yeah, Maybe. he's gonna cue it up. Um, <laughs> because the response was just, <laughs> and back report is just such a smart out. I'm so mad we didn't get to talk to him. It's like we caught him at first, and then after the show, it was like he disappeared. Mike, where were you? We were trying Mike, to find you. Out. We were trying to find Mike said you. We he had to change him down. his clothes, and he'd be right back to talk to me. He's like, I've got. And you know how Mike talks with his hands. Mm-hmm. He's like, I've got to change my clothes, and then I'll come right back to you. <laughs> no, and it didn't even look like he changed his clothes. I don't think he, he did. Didn't say he was the same with the same shirt. Same shirt he had on. <laughs> no, just say you had to go to the restroom. We're just say hey. Just say hey. hey I can't. can't do it. They got me on this payroll right now. Right, we're about to make this it is happen. Their money. And as soon as he got into it, like he was ghost. As soon as it was over, that's he was total foolishness, ghost. Mike. <laughs> but that's don't Mike. Get run up on. But that's Mike. Again. <laughs> But overall, it was this, for me, for me being a first timer there, it was just an unbelievable experience. And so, uh, yeah, Quan's going to play that. What are you going to bring to the big three? You're the number one pick of season three. What do you got? I'm, I'm 6'8", 270. I'm a point guard. <laughs> it's, it's, only two of, it's only two of me in the world. One of them live in Hollywood, the other one's standing here with you. The other one's on vacation. Congratulations, everybody's happy to see you here, man. Uh, Appreciate it. Guys? Yeah, Michael, that's, that's a kind way of saying LeBron missed the playoffs. Uh, I love that. I'm 6'8", 270, I'm our point guard, and there's only one other like that. Um, I love it, it's cocky. You know, that's what the league is about. It sure is. Well, you know, and well, as a Laker right. hater, I was loving every word of that. Uh, of I was course just like, you were. Of course you were. He got him hot. I know who they're talking about, you know. Of course fine. you were. It was funny. I but can't. it was good to see Lamar Odom, and he looked really good, and it was yeah, good it to, you know, former Laker, you know. It was I, good I to was, see I him. was very, I was very, like, I was happy to see some of my like, Huskies ah. in the house. You know, Nate yeah. Robinson was there. Yeah. Trey Simmons got, mm-hmm. um, got Trey drafted. Simmons, that was a nice conversation with him, It too. was. It was yeah. a nice conversation. Yeah. A little yeah. Seattle Power GP was in there, Rashard Lewis. So we had our Seattle oh, connections. Yeah. Um, 
close was there? Jason Terry Jason looks Terry, like he's 15 yeah. years old still. Yeah, and he still, I mean, he took really good care of his body, too. Did and he? So, yeah, he That's really an did. understatement. Mm-hmm. Taking care of, like, the the guy yeah. got cryogenically frozen. Yeah, uh, maybe. Because <laughs> he's <laughs> popping out looking like he's 15 years old. He might have. Well, and I feel like as long as you keep playing ball, whether you stopped or not, I feel like basketball will keep you in shape. Oh, no matter absolutely. what. There's you guys that are 40, 50 absolutely. that are still playing. Yeah. Maybe not competitively, absolutely. but they're still playing. Right. It's going to keep your body oh, yeah, right absolutely. in shape. Except absolutely. for Shaq. I don't know. Well, I don't Shaq, think Shaq's really playing that much. Shaq, Shaq he got a chicken. He got a chicken company. He got pizza. <laughs> he got... Uh, just no yeah. gym. He don't got no gym. Hey, he no gym. <laughs> and he didn't get his little last few minutes on that TNT break Man. to talk about the game either. He was real tight about that. Oh, him and Chuck oh, were going was? at yeah. it. That was, that was funny. Because Chuck took looked, over the had, last yeah. minute, you know, oh, the game. Okay, yeah. uh, there was a thing they had only a few minutes to talk about plays in the, yeah. the game. And Chuck overstepped his bounds and took Shaq's time. Shaq was like, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and let you talk because you didn't took up all my minutes. So. And Ernie's like, you've got 44 seconds, though. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. That time. That's a lot. He's like, no, no. It's over. He was hot. He's going to take done. his ball and go home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's done. And He's then they done. kept poking at him. They kept poking. If you haven't seen that, you can, on our Instagram page, I that did post it. That you should it. be following. Girl it's Chat hello. Sports. All one word. Yeah. <laughs> but it was hilarious. It, it was. It was good. It was, it was good. funny. So anyways, back to big three. We had a yeah. great experience. Um. I was, you know, I was reading a lot of the comments after some of the posts that Big Three on Instagram made, and a lot of them were wondering where your Laker guy was. Where my what? Where your Laker guy was. Like, why he didn't get drafted. Oh, Steve Blake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, really? Steve Blake He's from the- Maryland. I don't want to talk about it, because that would have me a little tight. I mean, everybody in the comments was like, Blake, Steve what? Blake, what? They're going to pick Odom and not oh, Blake? Blake? I mean, it Thank was just like, you. and some yeah, other names picked, that, you they know. Picked, they picked hurt? Odin, but no, he's not hurt. I wish I had sat there and talked to him when I went downstairs. Because yeah. we honestly could have mingled with some of the players, the potential uh-huh. candidates that were going into the draft. Saw Steve Blake fit, sitting there and didn't, I recognized him, but I was like, former Laker. Former Laker Mel, who is, and then I looked at the sheet, I was like, Steve Blake. And Steve Blake was yeah. a shooter. Yeah, but he's also a guard. So maybe the draft was well, kind of not half, in his favor. Well, no, because the second round were all guards, too. Hmm. Royce White was going in, in another as a guard. Way. He's going to have to get in another way. <laughs> he's going to have to play his way in. Yes. I don't know. They had a <laughs> combine the night before. Yeah. So they had a combine the night before. Shoot. So maybe he didn't perform as well in the combine. But, Who knows? You know, the competition was stiffer. It was stiffer. Um, it was 100 so. players. I mean, come on. You're only picking 31. And all those guys have been in the NBA at some point or another. So it's not like, you know, the guys from the Y came in or some kind of rec <laughs> league. Like, you're playing against talent. Right, right. Absolutely. So I was some guys ahead of them. It happens. And it does happen. Yeah, but Steve Blake, though. Come on. But the son. thing is, is that here's what's happened. I know remember, I don't know if it happened last year for sure, but I know for sure the first year it was like, um, they started the league and within the first game there was like three injuries that no one so it's like you were gonna be picking from the pool so we had asked Kenyon Martin about this like what happens when there's an injury like and it's like those guys are on call like you're the next people up so maybe you know I'm sure he's gotta be like one of the next people in once someone gets I hope so because that would make for interesting basketball I'd like to see him back on the court being a former Laker yeah it's it's gonna be interesting either way yeah it is it's gonna be very entertaining it's gonna be very entertaining I look forward to it they did it was uh, last year well they didn't give a schedule yet as to when right. these games are going to be starting. Well, there's going to be a schedule because CBS got their name on it. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so they don't have a schedule out. It should be out in the next week when we had talked to... Um, Ice Cube. We talked to Ice Cube. He said in, probably in a week's time we had met with one of the attorneys there with Big 3 and they were discussing like you know, in the days versus weeks kind of, kind of mm-hmm. time frame. Um, but they did announce that the first game was going to be in Atlanta. That's right. I think June 22nd. So... Yeah, yeah. But if he wants to celebrate right my now. birthday early, oh. we can make a road trip over to Atlanta real quick. Hey, <laughs> Pompe, Pompe you can ride right in now. the caravan with what you call it. Yeah, I'm with like, Royce. let's hit up with Royce. Royce. Yeah, because whatever he bus to... he's gonna be on, you might hey, be I on that be bus the DD. with him. It's okay. Listen, it's okay. It could be, if, uh, you know, some fun content. Go ahead, take a road trip. Right? With Royce Look at it. I'll try. Yeah. That's social media content there right there. Bump that. Y'all could be in a luxury sprinter going to. <laughs> oh, we're going to be in an RV. Yeah, we or got, luxury we're RV or something. It. Charter like, RV. Whatever I am not driving. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, So we can get into some sports, like some boxing. Oh. Do we want to do boxing first or Vegas? I think we should do boxing. I feel like, you know, yeah. 
we got our boxing lady we here. We sure do. We sure do. I really want to know what happened because I didn't get it. I was I was in a wedding or not in a wedding. I went to Montana for a wedding this this they weekend. They get married in Montana still. They right. do. Shout out they to my live cousin in Matt. Montana. Yeah, still. they live. Still live they in Montana. Yes. Live in Montana. Okay. My brother so lives in Montana. Shout okay. out to Brett. Shout out to Dobie's teriyaki. <laughs> Um, but my cousin, I have family that are all throughout the northwest corner. So like Montana, Idaho, all the I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, so I was up there, I didn't get to catch the fight, but I saw that it was a draw, oh, which Robert seems very lackluster. Yeah. What what kind of transpired? What was going on? Or what did we miss? What happened? Or what? I guess yeah. what couldn't happen? I heard there was wasn't many punches thrown. It was a bad card. Um, uh-huh. Kind of top to bottom, even though we had Victor Postal on the, on the card as well. Um, expected a lot more activity between uh, Rances, Bartholomew, and Robert Easter. I think through the first three, there was something like an average of nine jabs thrown between the two of them. An average of nine jabs. Oh I threw God. nine jabs between the parking lot and right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had my boxing class last weekend. Yeah. I ain't even in no ring. So um, it was really disappointing. I thought that Robert Easter took the fight. Um, they, he did rock Francis at least once. Francis had a heck of a chin. Um, it took that right cross. But what happened was when there was action, it was because Robert Easter initiated that action. So right. for me, if it came down to a draw, you go to the sniff test. Like, who actually had any moments that changed the momentum in the right. fight? And for me, that was Robert Easter. It was a terrible fight, though. Um, even Robert afterwards, I uh, had asked him, you know, did did Rance's confusion at all? Because Rance's Bartholomew is really crafty, and mm-hmm. he likes to kind of like set traps. And he even said his one of part of his game plan was to set traps and a clown a little bit to maybe like bait right. him into a heavy punch. And Robert Easter had been around the game long enough; he knew that was happening. He didn't want to get hit over the top of the head or something crazy oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. So he was trying to actually time this guy, and that's why it looked so awkward. And then when you had uh, Rancis switch to Southpaw in the third round, it was just like, it was just messy. They say styles make fights. And in the, for this particular one, that, that style made a horrible fight. Oh, um, wow. I didn't think that it was a draw. I'm kind of okay with it being a draw because it was such a bad fight. I feel like neither one of them should have been rewarded for that mess. Um, do but, do uh, fighters t- tend to switch styles in the middle of a fight? They can. Really? Terrence Crawford does. All the time, yeah. you go from orthodox to southpaw. Southpaw, yeah. yeah. Huh. Jo- uh, jo- uh, jo- uh, Joseph, Jojo is a southpaw yep. too. Um, also, guys, we're taking calls too. Seven zero two six zero eight three two five nine. That Got is the number. Juice. Have any questions for any of us? Comments on that Easter fight? Uh, Amir Khan quit. I think everybody can come to the general consensus because we didn't talk he about quit. that fight. He quit. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> He quit. <laughs> like he, put, he put it no, on the corner. He, 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 he quit. He quit. He, he flat out quit. He put it on the corner. Yeah, he flat he out said, quit. You know. Yeah. So, um, we do have a video queued up, though, of an right. interview that you did with Easter as well, right? Oh, We're going to play that, too. Let's see that. Let's see how that one went down. Um, it, it was close to me. It was close to me. Like I said, I, I gave him a few rounds, but I, I clearly beat the man. I clearly beat him. Did you feel like you needed that final round, or did you think that you were ahead enough to actually take the fight? Um, yeah, you always want to close out fights, you know, uh, close them out in, in, in good fashion. But, like, I, I, I felt that I really had to fight one. No, you didn't. No. <laughs> you didn't feel like you had the fight. Because I was watching. His pops kept saying, step to him, step to him. You can hear it ringside. Right. It's like, step to him, fight right, him. Right, right. And he, <laughs> and he just wasn't willing to fight him because he felt he was so kind of thrown off by Rance's and like this clowning, like he was doing right. this crazy thing <laughs> with his right hand. And it looked like he was going to step into something. But had he actually just fought his fight, it would have been an actual victory. Right. But instead you got, you know, the, and now that the title is vacant and, and nobody yeah. wants to see them run that back. Like, no one wants to see that. Man. Robert Easter is one of the taller um, competitors in his division. He's about six feet. I think he's 5'11 on the program. And okay. he didn't use his range at all. Just didn't do it. And so, and, and both of the, the fighters, I think they fell short of their own uh, game plan. 
too bad for the Cosmo and and for Showtime. Because yeah, because that thing. was really um, hugely promoted. Well, and I yeah. went to the last Showtime one that, that was over at Sam's Town, and mm-hmm. I would, I just thought Cosmo like that that location, really cool. right. I will tell you this. There was some things that was raggedy. Oh. Um, they did not have a Speak media. Speak on it. Let me get my tea. Hang on real quick. They didn't have a media room. And oh, they didn't? No. And so when I got there, there were snacks sitting on the table. I'm like, huh, well, you don't see that all the time. Some M&Ms, some popcorn, and a bottle of water. That's because it wasn't a media room. Right. And where the media room is where the food would have been. Right. But instead, we had some salt vinegar popcorn. And some peanut M and M's to tie you through Man, the night. So, so they're, I was they're a little skipping on the concession. Hey, I'm not gonna lie; I would have been cool with M and M's and popcorn. It's when I get there and it's like, oh, I want some dried little like burger. I mean, there was like sometimes you'd be like, what am I eating? Snack when you're there for ten hours. Oh yeah, snack. not yeah, ten snack hours. Snack is not no. enough. No. I wanted to fight. Uh, to the end of that, <laughs> you I was just like, went on for ten hours. Well, well, no, you can be like, oh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. getting there, setting right. up, right. and I was writing for a publication, sure. so I had to have all that stuff taken care of. But to add insult to injury, at the end of um, just before we had a scrum, basically they just propped him up against the the wall so that we can talk. Uh, just before that, I started smelling something. I'm like, what is that? What am I smelling? <laughs> I, what am I? Sm-? It's food. They had this beautiful spread for Showtime only. There was like popcorn That's here, so peanuts. Out of line. Throw the popcorn, Showtime peanuts. only. Showtime huh? only, and and look, it looked so good. So by the time like I was done with the scrum, I went up and spent like thirty dollars on some dang on fried rice. It was good. Um, There's but, hidden pizza there. That's always good. Oh, I, I love the hidden pizza. That. I went to. Yeah, I think it's, it's Bolero. I love it. Batero. Uh, not it's it's a Chinese and Mexican oh, restaurant. Yeah, the fusion that's, yeah, the fusion. And they yeah. had it, it's called Twenty Ingredient Veggie Fried Rice. It was popping, like it was really popping. But I I overpaid for it because I was so hungry and I was not getting in the car. Oh, that was a given. You go overpay <laughs> at Cosmo. Look, I asked for a spoon because I'm like I'm gonna eat it in the car. So just give me a right. Spoon. I would so just went to what? Wicked Spoon and <laughs> had the buffet because you could eat all the crab legs you wanted. Oh my god, for a little under forty bucks. What? It probably would have been just six dollars more than what I paid for that. You and know, they got good dinner. Yeah. Of fried rice. And I was like, I didn't. I was there by myself. I could have had everything mm-hmm. I wanted and not have to worry about nobody. So Mikey P Next on time. the live chat says hello from the teen center to you. Mikey P, what's up? Let Shout me tell out to you. Horn being in the building. Big cub in the house, Mikey P. Yeah. <laughs> Big cub. Shout out to my boy Vance. Thanks let, for checking in. Let me tell you, I've known Mikey P since he was probably smelling like Similac in his head. <laughs> oh. like, since he was a kid. No joke. I think Little it was Mikey in high school. Little Little Mikey P. Yeah. He was in <laughs> high school. He was uh. Michael. <laughs> um, yeah, from the teen center, the Boys and Girls Club in Henderson, Nevada, right next to uh, Basic High School. Okay. I was their teen center director. Okay. But like, we go way back. Boy, if you don't connect with me, Pop you. All right, you hear that, Mikey P? She gonna pull out the belt on um, you. Ooh, you. Uh, gosh, she's you. you gonna get the belt? Ooh, child. I ain't had the child. belt in years. So she we'll skip. So it sounds like it was uneventful. I'm, I didn't miss terrible. too much this terrible. weekend. Yeah, that's so, terrible. Terrible. But we do have uh, something some major is coming. So weekend. you know, being in Vegas, living in Vegas, you always know there's gonna be big stuff happening around Cinco de Mayo, around Labor Day, around any big weekend holiday mm-hmm. weekend. Right. There's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be MMA. It's gonna be UFC. It's gonna be boxing. It's gonna be something. Right. Thing. Yeah. And we've got Canelo this weekend. Yes. Yeah, Canelo and Mobile. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we got some my cinnamon. Little, you know what? I always think he's like my little uh, ginger snack. Because <laughs> oh. he has like a little snap. ginger snack. Yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. He's a little cute mm-hmm. ginger yeah. snap. Mm-hmm. He's spicy. Yes. A little yes. spicy. Little <laughs> so spicy. I do pick Canelo yeah. to win this fight. Yeah, Canelo's gonna I'm win going, a fight. I'm going with Canelo for sure. Can- Put the house money on it? We put house money I'm putting on every it. church money, everything on it. I'm putting Quan money on it. I'm oh. putting my money on it. <laughs> We're going to get that aviator pool party started oh. here. <laughs> yes, we're waiting for that. We're waiting for that pool party for sure. No, with my own money. It's, it, listen, Canelo is, is the, the clear favorite. Yeah. However, um, I know it's often said that he can shock the world. This one can shock the world. Danny yeah. Jacobs can win this fight. Oh, yeah. Um, he hits just as hard. He's 
more athletic than Canelo. He sees, and, and but I don't think he's seen actually the caliber of competition. He did fight Triple G. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think actually he had a better showing against Triple G, although he lost that fight. Um, but Canelo, after he fought Floyd, something significant changed in him. And it's not just how he approached the fight, but he learned about that Mayweather defense. And that's what's been showing up ever since he fought Mayweather, and I think this fight's going to come down to defense. Both of these guys can knock right. their head off. You mean that you know? running around the ring? Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> and, was... and a little bit. You watch <laughs> yeah. him. He stole that shoulder roll, too. Like, he's oh, got, okay. I mean, that was effective against Triple G as well in the first fight. In the second fight, he took it more to Gennady. Yeah. Um, he wanted to prove a point that, you know, you're going to be backing up during this fight, and I'm going to be more aggressive, which he was. I think Canelo won that second fight. I don't right. think he won. Um, the first fight, Adelaide, <laughs> crazy boxing judge. Um, but I think this time around, it is in Vegas and it is yeah. Golden Boy. And something yeah. else has happened that a lot of people aren't talking about. There's two things. One, Canelo had something like 120 sparring rounds, you know, maybe more. Um, unheard of. Unheard of. Yeah. So he's planning for it to go the distance. And so, you know, his stamina is up. He's been hit more than he's had probably in any training camp ever um the other thing is so golden boy changed the um the weigh-in so there's Mm -hmm. two weigh-ins so the second one is i think as late as 10 a.m on saturday the day of the fight really so what that means that danny jacobs who naturally walks around as a bigger man probably like 180 185 might be losing a few he can't hydrate as much. Yeah, right. Because he'll if yeah. they if he loses slightly, just an ounce or anything, it's 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 a different it's type a different of type matchup of, for yep. him. So he could hydrate up to eighteen to twenty okay. pounds. But I was reading that. I was he wondering. Probably how that... won't hydrate maybe twelve pounds. Wow. Um, going into the fight, that's yeah. significant. Some technical stuff. No, yeah. it is. It, it is. Super signif- and it throws. It will throw off your timing. Yes. You know to be at. The, so Canelo is. Danny Jacobs is a very good fighter. Mm-hmm. Canelo's an elite fighter. Right. And so when you have any handicap going into a, a match with an elite fighter, it's a problem. So anybody can get caught with a punch. Danny Jacobs has just as much power, if not more, than Canelo. Um, mm-hmm. But he's going to be missing some of his timing. You know, And people... Danny Jacobs is not just like a great fighter. He's a special individual. He wasn't supposed to walk again. Uh, wow. he, he he was out on a USO tour mm-hmm. and um, back wasn't acting right and so he gets it x-rayed and he has a tumor on his spine so uh, he had cancer he has come back from spine cancer to be at this level that he's at right now and that is incredible it is incredible because even to get to that level and then compete at yeah. a premier fight by the way on yeah. a weekend like this a heavy yeah. fight, and have a contender like it's an honor for him to even step in the ring with Canelo like that. So, so it'd be good to see if he does win the match. I, I would but like to see him. That would be a nice like outcome this. for where he's come from. But I have to be realistic as far as logistics. It, yeah, on the fight. Uh, like, I just Canelo yeah. has more yeah. gifts right now at this point. You know, it was one more thing I was thinking of actually today was that Canelo is meaner, mm-hmm. like <laughs> much meaner. Um, Something happens to human beings when they go through adversity, especially if, if you are an athlete. When you come to the other side of it, you have a sense of relief. And I wonder if that sense of relief for Danny Jacobs outweighs like his, his tendency to be mean and destructive. You know, he won. He won the ultimate prize, and that's his life back. Yeah. So I, I just wonder, you know, can somebody like that actually climb back into the combat world and be destructive like they need to be? Canelo, like that's, you know, that's his middle name. Exactly. Uh, people call him Canelo's his middle name, but you know, it right. might be Canelo destructive. <laughs> well, know? shout out to Donnell because he's calling the Jacob's a miracle man, and that he, is his nickname. That's his nickname. So, and thank you everybody yeah. who's joining the chat. You guys yeah. are also welcome to call in. Yeah. The number is there on the post, 608-3259. If you are just tuning in, we've got Cassandra with us, the sports nista. Hey, hey. Um, we were talking boxing because that's the Vegas main sport. That's been our sp- the, the sport here in Vegas for so long. Bread and butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, probably built this city, literally. Yeah. <laughs> so originally we were going to have uh, Joseph Diaz Jr. come call in. 
which Joe we're Joe super Joe excited Joe. about. Yeah. And we may possibly still. Um, we, I just uh, chatted with his manager on the yeah. phone, and they're, they're busy on the undercard, on, for, the on the undercard for the yeah. Canelo fight. But he's busy at the moment, yeah. so he, it, within the hour, hopefully you guys will be able to uh, talk to him. Um, we do have some questions with him and his upcoming fight, because this is his first fight since he's sure lost is. to Marshall last year right. in which May. Which they need to run back. Which they do need to, run, need to back. run back. But see, Marshall, isn't he fighting coming up in uh, May in the Barclays? Yeah, yes, so, in Brooklyn. Yeah. And he so, wants to fight again in June. JoJo says he wants to fight, fight him again, again in June. Yeah. Okay. So he wants to stay active. And so mm-hmm. I, that fight's not going to come to fruition, at least not in June, but it can no. be. Sound like he won't fight somebody else, though. Yeah, it sounds like he wants to fight Tevin Farmer, honey. And if everybody saw that post, yeah, that video. Okay, we'll talk about the first one. Okay, the first one where he's uh, his opponent. That stare down was bad too. Yeah, because that stare down, uh, he had his fist up to JoJo's chin. That's and not okay. Credit to JoJo, he keeps his cool very well in these. In he some did, of but when you put your fist literally on somebody's chin, we gonna have a that's, shoving that's match. That's what starts and fights. that's what starts fights. Now I'm so not saying I used to do this. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying Uh-oh. I know. Right. Here we like, go. You start a fight. If you put somebody, your hands in somebody's face like that, you touch their chin, like that's the invitation mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. there. But I got a feeling, so JoJo probably has been undersized his whole life. Oh, he you has. Know? He's been a little guy. People been trying to test him, yeah. you know, since he came out walking boat legged. So <laughs> he... <laughs> he used to I don't even know if it is but Freddie Fonseca uh, was out of line for even trying to put his fist up on his chin yeah. like that let's just do the stare down I'm fighting right. you and that's what it I'm should be my cool. stare down. you know it's a stare down Freddie Fonseca you put your right. fist right up to my chin literally like you're touching like you're my chin touching right now me. No. I'm about to shove you no. and it's like, about to be on so, and so props to JoJo yeah. um, you got you better you gotta get busy and then Tevin Farmer of comes out of left field. Where he come from? You not even fighting JoJo. So here you come, and you get in the man. I'm like, it's, it was like middle of media day or something. They get yeah. into it, and he's pushing up on it. Yeah, him. because all the undercard fighters are at this press conference. So they're all chiming yeah. in. So at the end, it's like... Because he wants next. And apparently he was offended by whatever JoJo was saying in a previous post. Oh, social yeah. media. Isn't it funny how people are getting into real fights? And JoJo but, commented on that video. He said, uh, he's all bark. I'm not sure. Right. Well, and that's how all these, yeah. you know, it's getting your, I mean, it's, you're giving them something to talk about. They right, said no, no, no publicity is bad publicity. Absolutely. So absolutely. you got to sell it. Of course. Absolutely. Look, everybody's yeah. not making $350 million like yeah. Canelo right. on DAZN. So some of these cats are fighting for 3500 Right. Absolutely. So absolutely. if they got to have beef on Twitter and have some beef on Twitter, what were they say in life? Go ahead. Get your cornbread. <laughs> Yeah, you get some bread. Bread. <laughs> uh, I am not mad at you. But there are a lot of fights this weekend mm-hmm. on that card. So yep. it should be interesting. It's going to be a long Saturday at yeah. T-Mobile yeah. for some folks. It is. And it will definitely yeah. be um, a fight night, as they like to call it here in Vegas, because it gets crazy. It's already a single day mm-hmm. mile. So yeah. we know what happens on single day mile out here. Woo. Everybody and their mama comes in droves. All kinds of drink, drink, <laughs> drink going on. Watch out for the highway patrol because they be out. Good. <laughs> yeah. Be glad Just to stay see on the strip. You. Grab an Uber, grab a Lyft. Like something. I got hot sauce in my bag swag too because you never know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not to get into the bay thing, but what did you think? We're going to just segue for a second. Okay. Taylor Swift. Uh, Somebody. What in the mayonnaise? The is mayo. going on. What in the mayo 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 What in the mayonnaise is going on? Karen, uh, Karen, quit it. Karen, well, let's, I need talk, you to well, let's, let's address first and for people that are watching. They're like, "What are you talking about?" So the the Billboard Music Awards were well, here last, last night. night. Too. Yeah, that was another as big well. Night of we Vegas. we didn't, you know we weren't there, but um, as many of you know. Beyonce had a whole pr- production for Coachella and it was a great performance and it was epic, you know? And, and was- she did just release the Netflix special homecoming. documentary yeah. that, The Homecoming. Well, and then last night, the opener... <laughs> the opening act. Yeah, the opening act was, you know... And somebody called it Shortcomings. I died. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I mean, go ahead. So... <sighs> Taylor Swift comes out in these boots and this little rah rah. Well, they thing. had a whole marching band to yeah. predominantly is that one what, race. Is that, is that what it was? I believe. Well, is that what it was? I won't I'm being say. Sarcastic. Is that what it was? I, yeah. Is that what it was? It was kind of like it was like if if you were to get like that fake Gucci bag 
Mm. You know, like it's not the real one, and it kind of might look like it, but not really. You can tell. Yeah, no, it was just a mayonnaise filled it was experience. It wasn't even that. It was vegan ace. <laughs> it was vegan ace. It, it was, was the fake tofu. It was the velveta. The, the, the marching band was stiff. They had no rhythm to attest to how they, but they were beating those drums. And I shout out to Diplo because he's hilarious. Diplo was on Instagram front row seeing the whole thing go down, and he was like, "Yeah, they're beating those drums like." If you don't beat them this hard or with help, this Taylor Swift's gonna just eat them alive no, or kick their butts. God, they got she gonna Katy <laughs> Perry yeah. them. She's she was gonna, gonna she was gonna go oh, Katy Perry them. But somebody said this was um, they had the two images side by side, Beyonce and Taylor Swift, and it said when the Wiz meets the Wizard of Oz. Or did you see the meme where it's Kanye West interrupting like Taylor uh, Taylor? I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Let you finish, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce already did this. And so, rumor has it, of course, and I'm a member of Bay High, but I don't go in as hard as the young yeah. kids. I let them, I'm kind of like the queen mm-hmm. bee. I'd rather just <laughs> let yeah. the drones do their thing because I'm not going to get on your Instagram right. and put yeah. a whole bunch of bees all over it. <laughs> but the Bay Hive is in full effect. It's and they're not playing. No. You, rem- you ever see Kid Rock's Instagram? <sighs> go on Kid Rock's Instagram and see how the Bay Hive <laughs> acts, and then you'll know. It's serious. They, yeah, they're like, it's ball serious. with your ball with this. Yeah, it's serious. <laughs> Honey, you don't want to mess with us. They are serious. I do think that actually a genius move would be for them to co- do a collab together. Yeah. Uh, for Beyonce and Taylor Swift. We don't really want to have that kind of drama no. between female artists. No. no. Although Taylor Swift was wrong for that, 100%. If you're going to have a drum line, you need to have an HBU style, HBCU style drum line. Like other than that, it was um, it was well, they, uh, coming from that March type band. of uh, ethnicity, they don't have that. I was style. Say, so they, they don't really have drum lines in every house. Probably so it they did what they did, but I think too that she should have consulted with her team and said, you know, this Netflix documentary just came out. Why do they we have to open one? We should have just not done a band. No, per se. she knows she saw it, and she should have been like, wait a minute, did. yeah. Right, she should have done something else. And listen, it was complete appropriation. Only thing yeah. she needed was some cornrows. That's the only thing she was Well, she didn't wear the boots. She didn't have the boots she that did. Beyonce was wearing. She, she didn't wear have the little bit. She can't wear well, them. Well, she don't boots, got no thighs for no boots. She can't wear them. <laughs> them boots were serious, too. I want to say those boots were St. Laurent's, too. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So oh I did it again. Boots were serious, yeah. No, so, but it, was, it, was, yeah, it was a sad. Although, I do like the track. I, I like, like the, the song. Track. I like, like the song me too. or something like that. Yeah. I, hey, About I don't me. like. I don't have a problem with Taylor Swift whatsoever, except let's the not the rhyming copy, and cut stealing. And paste. Let's just well, stop copying and cutting and pasting. Let's just call it what it is. Since we are on the topic of billboards, yeah, your man Drake. Zaddy, you just see his little oh, video. Had his I have beard, a problem with him to, right now. But let's talk about. But let's, a problem let's talk about this man got what twelve Billboard awards last night. Oh, I'm really? sorry, I'm tight yeah. with Drake. He mentioned Arya Stark. What are you oh, well, doing? Hey, Don't hey. jinx the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Keep her name out of your mouth. <laughs> are we going? We might as well s- let's switch it over then. Uh, you want to segue to Game of Thrones? Get the music squad uh, because we're going to talk about it. Then we're rolling to some oh, more stories or goodness. whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I, I he mentioned Arya Stark. Congratulations to him on his awards, but you are a but dream killer. Do not mention these people's what did names he say? out of your mouth. Well, you know, whatever he promotes or the jerseys he wears, the teams he supports always lose. So now uh, he was promoting uh, Arya Stark. Uh, Arya Stark. Big ups to Arya Stark. He did Being the a real silly one. on her. Like, oh, yeah. oh, he didn't no. do the silly, but he just verbalized. Shout out to her for being the MVP. And we, we can get into it and why she's the MVP. She is the MVP yeah. for days. I have never seen a Game of Thrones. I, Shame I, on you. I, I read Shame coverage. on Quan. Shame on you. I, something has to give, man. I are you a Potter? Are you Harry Potter? Or never. You Let me Lord tell you something. Nope. I walked out of the first ever Harry Potter movie. Now, I have to say, it was like some peer pressure. I went with some folks, and like everybody hated it. There was like Slytherin, you know, suckerfish or whatever. It just didn't make any sense. But I'm coming back around to Harry mm-hmm. Potter. So, like, none of that, I, although I'm not anti, it's just, I just think Can I tell you, time. I've never seen, I've watched some of the Harry Potter movies and fallen asleep I on each and every single like, one of them. I, just can't. I might have watched the first couple when I was young. I fell asleep but... on them. I don't, I couldn't, t- I fell asleep on the first one. I'm not into fairy tale. Like, I mean, I, and then I, the other one the flying and the magic and the, yeah I, don't... I think it's neat like i'm going because my kids are about that age where like yeah. we can get into it like yeah. i'm going to get into it but if it's not the wire or boxing and now they don't have boxing no more i don't really watch hbo well can i tell you something i did a rank and i was talking to a co-worker of mine about the hbo series with 
The Wire was one of the best series. Mm. On, but I'm sorry, Game of Thrones Game of has Thrones. taken over. It's and then some people will say Sopranos was better. And Sopranos was not better than The Wire. No, no, no. Wire oh. to me was always the yeah. best. And then what about Oz? Can we get Oz, into Oz? Was, Oz was good too. Oz one. was great. Oz True was Blood good. was good. Six Feet Under was amazing. Yes, that one was. Good. I watched all of it. Welcome but, to Girl Chat HBO. Right. But the <laughs> Wire. <laughs> the Wire. It's like a few in here right now. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't put my music on. We, we just started going down the rabbit hole. He didn't put my little Game of Thrones music on, so I can't talk about I it right now. I still to this day say stuff like Omar coming. Like I quote The Wire almost like. Daily, Let me know? tell you about Omar, man. Omar come down that hall, that uh, alley. Omar Whistling. coming. Omar coming. Everybody. Here come all the money. They out of there. Let me get a pack of Newports. Famous I, last lines I'm from have Omar. To look. Sometime this week, get I'm going to post something from the wire. I, I can't. just love it. But I do think in terms of production value, Game of Thrones is just oh. epic. Like, there's nothing you can get care to. Well, the you fact can. that they actually had to delay production because there wasn't enough winter in uh, they shoot in like England or where is that? Yeah, someplace crazy. So yeah. they didn't have the weather that would deem it be- best for the pictures. So they literally that's why we that's why we waited these last like two years now because the weather uh, wasn't good. They didn't have a cold enough weather or some kind of a, yeah. Or, yeah. Wait, it's been two years. Yeah, yeah, because um, you had time to a catch up under two years. years. A little yeah. under two years, but so that means you had time to catch up on seven seasons. Oh heck, seven no. years worth of show. Mm-hmm. My ADD would not allow oh, me. Oh, trust me, it's been hang. two years, and then you only get six episodes before it's gone forever. I thought we we're getting eight. See, that's why are I we like. Getting, are we getting sick? I thought, I thought we were getting sick. Getting eight. Oh, maybe that's why sick. I like the fight game. You could settle something like right away. Well, right? Speaking I of fights, two years. <laughs> this past episode had the longest epic battle on Crazy. TV history. Crazy. This battle lasted an hour. A lot of fight, some change, and yeah. it was basically the North with a team of Jothraki and the Sully and the Dragon Queen, and everybody fighting against these Night Walkers and the undead. So it was almost like and the undead. These the undead zombies? is almost yeah, pretty basically much, okay. pretty much like Walking Dead. They die, meets, and they get back up, but they get re, but they okay. get reborn again because you have this Night King who runs it all, and until you can kill him, it's gonna keep going. And yes, we and wait, somebody killed the Night King though, right? Yes, yes. Arya Stark. Okay. Arya Stark. Yeah. Arya Give Stark up to Arya Stark, honey. Big and so Drake put Big that up. out there. Oh, do that, Drake. She was the MVP. Like Kiki, did you, did you love him? Go get your man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Talk to him. So Ari was a real MVP. <laughs> Shout out to the little girl that was the Lord that took out the giant because the giant was a problem. They had a zombie Giants giant. Giants are often a problem. That was knocking <laughs> everybody off. Well, not always. Yeah, not the ones in East Brotherhood. <laughs> well, New York Giants, and we'll get into that. Well, they got problems. We'll get into that. <laughs> they got problems. We're going to talk about the NFL yeah. draft, oh, too. Are we going back to sports at some point? Yeah, we oh, are. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we can segue right on back into the NFL draft <laughs> if we want to, or we can talk about local sports. But I Anyways, really talk about shout out to Arya Stark. Yeah, and I don't need Drake to give the shout out. I don't need Drake to give the shout out. I I don't even know if Drake understands that he is the big curse. Like, he is the curse. I think he knows he's the curse and just lives for it. I think yeah. he lives for the I mean, it the gives trips. him his minute. It gives him his minute. Like he gets he all the memes. He has all the memes in the world. So um, we'll talk about the draft because last yeah, yeah. week we didn't get into the draft at all. We kind of glossed over it, but we didn't get into the draft. So, of course, the big thing was the Raiders had all these picks. They got rid of Khalil Mack. They got some first round draft picks, a handful. It Ooh, seems yeah. like the Giants were ready. They were ready yeah. to get their pick. Their quarterback mm-hmm. was coming. Yeah. And did you see all the memes of the Giants and the Raiders fans' faces when they were picking their pick? Like, well, Lord. you know what? Our look was not of disappointment. Our look was we just didn't know who Cleveland was. Well, right. Well, and, and, and Cleveland's a stud, stud, though. He is yes. a stud. Researching yeah. who he is as a defensive end for Cleveland, Cleveland he ran stud. that defensive yes. line, so yeah. I am but fine with it. But was he the it. first one that you pick off of the, all the Clemson guys that got picked? All that line that well, was in the draft? Well, remember I told you last week, I told you they need somebody from defense. And I think oh, what yeah. Mayock is trying to do, because we picked two Clemson guys, and mm-hmm. we also picked an Alabama State guy. Now, you know those two schools were on the rival of thing. Course. So he was right. playing off of that whole situation, too. Those kids are ready. So uh, Josh Jacobs. They're already. Josh Jacobs. Yeah. Josh Jacobs. Running back, running back, running back. Is he going to be our next Khalil Mack? But here's a problem. Or better. They're going to, they better win this year. Because you go into a new market on a two-year skid, it's a problem. So those kids have more pressure on them than a normal rookie class would. I mean, just as much as Gruden, but Gruden, you know, is a hundred million dollar man. We know he's not going nowhere. Oh yeah, of course, of course. But these kids are vested. And I think Mayock is actually proven to be okay as a GM right now with the picks that, the decisions that make. 
Well, I mean, hey, I can't knock yeah. who he's got so far in our first I round. I want to see them actually play. It's, it's, not like the, it's not like the Giants getting this Duke quarterback. What the heck is all that about? That sounds like and some Raiders type Haskins stuff. Well, it's, right the, it's the Manning Especially family, you, you know, Haskins that Manning right family there. got some pull. Right. It's like, yeah, I'm going to let you draft the quarterback, right? But you're not going to get the one that you want. You're going to get the one. Like, did Eli really pick the quarterback? But listen, quarterback actually is... I'm not going to say gifted. He's proficient. He can play. He's smart. He went to do. <laughs> BFD, right? Because like there's a lot family of family went to do. Let's went start there. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he, the the problem is, you did not need him at the in the first round. No, fool. you did not. Why did you shoot that kind of wad at you know on the first? Could they not have gotten Josh Allen? Um, well, they could have had Rosen. Or Josh Rosen, I yeah, mean. Yeah, they Josh could have Rosen. had Rosen. But here's the deal. Why yeah. were they going so... I mean, they could have, but the thing is, too, is they could have slacked off a little bit, got somebody else they needed, got a quarterback maybe a little later on, but next year's draft... Because here's the deal. Next we year, all know we Eli's two, still going to play all, all this year. Absolutely. Unless something happens to Eli, he's yeah, playing absolutely. all 2019. Absolutely. So the, point, the thing is, is that they have a huge, a, a, a heavy quarterback draft next year. They could have easily picked off that right off the bat. I think it's a thing with Duke, honestly, if well, I have to call it. I think it's a Duke thing. I but really also, do. there were there were people who were saying that this quarterback actually should not be overlooked. So, but here's the thing: they got rid of Landon Collins. It was an issue of like maybe like eight million dollars or something right. like that. Well, you spent more than that on a guy who's not gonna play, right? Well, the thing is, kept Collins, right? Yeah. And the thing is, guess what? We'll never, we won't know until you know a few years from now because yeah. look at Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, right. all these guys came down on the fifth and you know fourth, third rounds. But they got them in in subsequent rounds. They did yeah. not need to waste that pick yeah. on this cat who you could have gotten oh. second round. Right. Yeah. It was just straight boo boo. I mean, it's just it's Giants, man. That organization is making it real hard on folks right now. Like I'm a ride with you. All those giant fans up there are like, Ugh. but golly, man, that's why I was so frustrated by the Raiders because I'm like, you know, my home team is out here acting a fool and then you got the Raiders I'm scratching my head I'm like I want both of y'all to win but you, you want to come back to the Seattle side you're welcome to no, my God. God. no I know <laughs> I'm doing that do. <laughs> that's what I'm saying you <laughs> Seahawks fans I mean y'all kill me y'all just brand y'all new y'all really do kill brand me brand new y'all just want g- one Super Bowl y'all don't know how to act I don't, don't understand know. how your coach is 80 years old yeah. hey, hey yeah, thank, thank you John, him thank and John you. went in that it don't matter how old Pete is let's put you his gun and Pete let Pete have his white shoes in peace y'all just don't worry about it he don't get a double Mint sponsor because no. he is. He need a white Nike right. sponsor. Man. He need the gum sponsor. He, he is, need. And that killing. bag they threw at Russell Wilson. They better do something about this they, season. Well, That's Russell real talk. Well, here's the deal. They, they, yeah. they, they, then they filled in all their. They filled in their. I'm not saying they filled in the gaps well, but they took that draft. The, the one pick that first round pick that we got for Frank Hart that ended up getting traded and turned into six more. Right. So they had a very successful draft compared to some other folks that we already And I'm not saying about. they were the greatest in the draft. They did they not did score the best, but they did great. They did, they did good, good enough, enough to where they filled mm-hmm. in gaps they needed. Yeah. And with Doug Baldwin, with us being unsure as to what his status yeah. will be this season, right. they've got, they picked up three wide receivers, including yeah. DK Metcalf, which I'm excited for. Yeah. And they also got the hometown hero in Ben Burke Kirvin, which is one of my favorite Huskies yeah. that came into the league. So I'm excited for that. But real quick, also, I wanted to shout out the Raiders for picking up Quentin Bell. Yes. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. I know yeah. our girl Natasha out there loves it because mm-hmm. it's a Prairie View alumni yeah. there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm happy mm-hmm. for him. I, You know, and the, and like Metcalf as well, hearing the the voice, the the call he got from the coaches. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's yeah, nothing better. There is no. Yeah. Okay, He's like, what took y'all so long? We're all chicks here yeah. on and Ewing, but here's yeah. the deal. It really is a great thing to just see how much work these guys have put in for this and yeah. for it to pay off to where they're getting that call. Yeah, well, they're just so wound up the entire draft and then finally you get your name called. You know, how many games at Tetris or whatever can you play on <laughs> right. your phone until... Or how know. many times can you avoid looking at the camera that's got you on the screen? Right. <laughs> so, you know, Quan, you Quan, crying. How you feel? how you feel about Quan, the 49ers crying. getting Nick Bosa, though? I know you guys talked about it. Shout out to Donnell and uh, Dre and all and Bill on uh, the Let's Ball Bounce. Bounce. You guys yes. talked about that. What do you feel about the Nick Bosa I mean, I, acquisition? I think he's dope. He's a good player, so I, I don't so look So personally, at, aside of the tweets and all of that? I mean, yeah. if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. There's a lot of people that feel the same way he does. And you're okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, right. he's about to go into the locker room. Yeah. 
I mean, and having yeah, to I mean, no, explain no, that. Yeah, Richard Sherman, but I mean, Richard Sherman's going to have a conversation. Richard Sherman's going to have a conversation for sure. He's not the only one in the NFL that's a Trump supporter or that's not oh, a Beyonce absolutely. fan no, 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 or not no, a Jay-Z no, fan. No, 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 no. But to uh, uh, blatantly put out what you stand for in a league that is so diverse, how can you get well, along here's with somebody the, but like But not that? only that, but knowing that your father was in the league, your brother is currently in the league, right. you know better. It wasn't like you this should. is your first. This isn't your first rodeo. You have been living in this. Like, no, the life. privilege is real, so they don't care. Oh, well, they so care. Ridiculous. He got drafted. Yeah, you got drafted. And you mean to tell me you skipped Kyler Murray to make a phone call to congratulate him, but you call this well, guy? Well, it's all okay. intentional. It, yeah, it it's is. all it's intentional. Totally intentional. But I would. I want. Well, we know what he was doing. Yeah, I hope yeah. they yeah. handle it in the locker room. Oh yeah, know, they will. The young man needs an education. The conversation will definitely be yeah, had. Not just sure. like it's mano y mano. Like, cause oh, here's the thing. Absolutely. When you're speaking recklessly like that yep. in this climate, it's not just about what you're saying. It's right. about people actually taking your words and manifesting into action absolutely. and making it an unsafe Leave. environment for that people who don't part. look like you. That and part. The fact that it is missed on some yes. of these individuals, absolutely. I don't care. He's not a kid. He's not. No. That part, your social responsibility and obligation, you have basically made it okay. Mm-hmm. And now your fan base is going to shift and it's going to be a fan base right. that may we not be know. may not be something that's warranted. You said Ooh, that. It's going to be time yeah. Levi you Stadium. That? There's going to be some battles of Levi. And the but that's, don't all, play. that's also the climate of but social media, media, though. You see yeah. everyone see. talks reckless on social media, but not everyone is... Put in, up in the spotlight like that, so I mean, no, it, it really, it really, it, it making, really, trust me, it really goes on <laughs> from from you know how he handles it from here on out, really. Right. So now yeah, so he's right. got an education. You can't say I didn't know exactly. any better. Yeah, yeah. You know better. You know better right now. So yeah. let me see if, if you, you can do, do better. better. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, so. only time will tell. Only time will tell. So we will see. We All I know is that the draft has happened, which means we are this much closer to season. We are starting. They got camps that'll be coming, mini camps coming up soon. Yep. And pretty soon it'll be like yeah. preseason. The hard knocks will come back. And I'm before just... you know it, it's going to be 2020. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe it? Going to be some Raiders happening. I know. And that's going to be the next hard knocks. Not oh, this season, but it's going to be the next one for sure. Be. For yeah. sure. It's, it's got to be. be, especially for yeah, Vegas, for Vegas. Too. But, um, yeah. And then shout out to Isaiah Crow. He injured for the season now, torn yeah, ACL. That yeah. sucks for the Raiders. So yeah. there was some question as to would Marshawn want to come back? And he, I don't know. It's nah, not, the rumor his now. His league, his league, his league, his league starting hey, for him. They don't. No, nah, he's not coming nah, back. The last uh, update on that, I just checked Raiders news and he's not coming back. And um, our boy, nice our though. boy, Seabass, retired. Yes, so 19 years. Now we need another, 19 we need years. Another kicker. One, two, Let me just kicker. say that, 19 years. That's 19 crazy. Years but as, as a kicker. kicker. But that's as a, a kicker. kicker. You know, I don't know 19 role. years as a But he tackle. was a different and kind of kicker, guy, though. Too. You know, like, he oh, out he there large. tackling He's very sin, large. You know? He liked his pizzas, right, Quan? Pizza's and he good. was living large too. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, I was like, dang, like this dude, he going to make it yeah. up off the couch nah. next season. He nah. didn't know what leg. he was doing. Yeah. I had no idea. I know. The only thing that took Can't from the, the draft, I, I thought it would have been fun if I don't drink, but if people had a drinking game, because whenever someone said, oh, this is the first time in common era, da 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 da, common era, and I was like, man, people would be smashed. Because it seemed like every other pick was, oh, this is the first time this has happened in this common era draft. This is the first time this happened. This is the first time many people, this college, Two guys yeah. from Old Dominion were drafted, and Old Dominion has never had a player in the or has been drafted before I'll give ever. You ODU. My yeah. cousin went to ODU, so I wanted to right. shout that out. Yeah. I heard that and was like, wait, what? Never? That's that was bananas. crazy. So there was a lot of records and a lot of things that have happened in the draft this year. There was the most, I think, the most trades. There was forty. The last one was mm. like the most was thirty-eight. Yeah. So it was it was kind of going down out there. Nashville yeah. was packed. It was yeah. live. It's a good city to have the draft in. Oh, it really is. It's it really small is. enough to kind of make it a big deal. Um, it gets lost, I think, in New York City. Mm-hmm. So it was nice to see. And it's also, you know, lives were changed. Families were changed. Yeah, Generational absolutely. curses were remedied. Well, um, by you get an economic flow. You get yeah. an economic flow well, out there. And yeah. then next year, we got the draft coming right. here, guys. Right. Yeah. yeah. Viva Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Oh this is going to be major. I just, love the look on people's, I just love the look on people's faces <laughs> out there in Nashville when all these names were called. Uh-huh. Hilarious. Especially when Cleveland's name was called, the Raider fans were kind of like Scooby Doo ears. They were like, uh huh. <laughs> what and, happened, but, Shaggy? 
And even when uh, the Giants, I just still can't get over that. Poor I Joe just, Buttons. Like, Joe Buttons almost fell out. They're just you like, basically video. they're saying, Eli got one more year at quarterback. We're just going to be his swan yeah. song. Yeah. Absolutely. They said yeah. three more years. So. Three more years. Not yeah. in uh, New York. You don't like, think in New York? Listen. That's what they. That's what if, the general manager said, three more years. Yeah, he for, also yeah. said he wasn't going to trade um, uh, Odell. So I Oh, yeah, believe. and that was another thing. Too. But that's a Duke but, thing, I'm telling you. Yeah, Duke has something. Uh, there's a Duke fibbing. conspiracy going on with New York. I'm telling but Gettleman, you. But Gettleman really on. is about that life. What I do dig yeah. about him is, like, it can't come to fisticuffs. He's not no punk. Um, but that is just a head-scratching decision yeah. <laughs> to grab. That's why, but if Eli, if they have a losing season or 500 and they don't play, make the playoffs, he's got to go. I mean, <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to have Saquon Barkley, I agree. like, I agree. the ball to himself? I agree. I agree. You know? So we That's have right. some guests that are about to join us in the studio. About to have a seat. Come on in. in. What are you guys doing? Y'all get all shy and stuff. Yeah, don't be standing That's behind standing. people. I'm a New Yorker, right. folks. <laughs> Something like that. Don't get Cassandra started. I'm 6'11 on the inside. So what are you talking about? <laughs> Until you said inside, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, my God. I'll that is inside. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Quick introductions here, yes. you guys. Yes. Um, we've got some friends that we just met yeah. last night. Cassandra already knows. Them. We did, like it's crazy. I think we all kind of just at the same time. Works, and, yeah, so and, like the universe shifted, mm-hmm. and, you know. Yeah. That's how the w- world works. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So we got our boy Egypt here. What's up, uh, Egypt? What's up, Egypt? Hi, how are you? With a hundred media group. Hundred deep. Yeah, hundred deep. Yeah. hundred deep. And also you didn't bring David 100. Mitchell, my and David yeah. Mitchell's yeah. here. We met David yesterday yeah. at the um, Big Three draft. So you guys, welcome. You guys are out there run, running these streets right now. Right. Yeah. We're trying, we're trying. 100 in these streets. Yeah. So we're excited to have you just pop in. We appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Um, I know you guys' schedule is hectic and everything, but we wanted to at least give you a quick drop into the studio. Yeah. So just let us know you've got a great upcoming event coming happening tomorrow, correct? That is correct. Um, out down at Town uh, Center, you want to tell the audience a little bit about that? Yes, uh, we have what's called a play and greet. Um, it's kind of like a meet and greet on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> but no um, steroids will be there. No steroids. Yeah. Not put any theories. Yeah. But we just want to build a better connection with our athletes. Um, and we think that, you know, uh, fans getting a chance to play video games with them, you know, their favorite video games, all the different mm-hmm. consoles, um, all the different, you know, systems and whatnot. You know, that's going to build a better connection for them. You know, a lot of times, you know, boxing gets the, um, I guess, the reputation of being very violent. Um, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it is. You know, and it's not the most family fun environment. Uh, we actually want to change that. So, you know, bridging the gap having these playing greets, having fans getting the chance to come together and, you know, beat these um, boxers up on these games. You know, that's really um, what we think is going to make a big change, big shift in the industry. Y'all are being much more creative than uh, the Golden Boy is, actually. It's it's a lackluster promotion right now, but what you guys are doing is a lot more creative, bringing the the fans to the fighters. That's very cool. I appreciate you saying that. Um, To mention... um, these fighters that are on the card um there's actually a video i'll, I'll share with you guys later so danny jacobs that's fighting uh, mm-hmm. i mean canelo is a good friend of mine but uh danny jacobs actually um was actually talking on an interview about what we're doing and we have never oh, talked right with on him. Good uh, for you. we did an event in dallas and um, we used him on the game against kelly pavlik kelly uh-huh. pavlik was fighting as himself and um i guess these guys were asking him about you know how hmm. important video games is and you know what it means to him and you know, he, you know, he gave us, you know, a big shout out without even knowing it's us. Wow, um, good for you. Yeah, but, you know, we're doing the right thing. You know, we're not it's not about us. You know, it's mm-hmm. not about me. It's not about my partner. You know, it's not even about our company. Our, our company is really looking to serve, you know, the community, the fans, uh, the sports, you know, not just boxing, you know, but we're going to implement, you know, basketball, music, you know, football, uh, mixed martial arts tennis golf whoever we can um bring into the fold that wants to have a better connection than what they already have i'm nhl i forgot to mention them i mean the golden knights here Mm -hmm. um you know again these meet and greets that they typically have where you just snap a few pigs and um you know they get a little handshake and you know get the heck out of here next in line you know that that kind of service you get at like starbucks or mcdonald's (laughs) You know, we want Chick Fil A. That's a good Chick Fil A right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I hate Chick Fil A. I'm a vegetarian, so 
Yeah, but they got oh, good yeah. lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what exactly? Um, what, where should, can people just show up, or what's the process? It's here? open <laughs> to the public. I mean, it's you know ten dollars for a wristband. Um, we're actually giving out prizes. We have a ring announcer, you know, for our MC. Uh, we have some great fighters coming through. Um, as far as even the other arcades, they're giving, you know, a lot of discounts, you know, on the arcades. Um, they're giving discounts on the food for the duration of the event. Uh, and, you know, and there's a few other cool things that they're doing. You know, we're, we're hard negotiators when it comes to these venues because, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want any kid or any family to feel like they can't be a part of it because of a financial issue or mm. financial situation. Mm. These fighters, you know, typically, you know, they are a hard bargain when it comes to getting them in the ring. And that's why they have so much trouble because no one wants to get their head beat up unless they're getting paid a good amount of money for it. As much as possible. Mm -hmm. So for this, nobody's getting beat up. All, you know, everyone's coming together to play video games, um, have fun, um, you know, enjoy each other's company. And hopefully, you know, they can build more fans, you know, that might actually, you know, care about them a little bit more if they mm -hmm. come down to their level. Yeah, I mean, in ten dollars, I mean, I I take the kids to Starbucks and get like that's a your Friday night right there. Yeah. sandwich, and it's eleven dollars. That's like nothing. So yeah, and, and you don't get to do Orange Justice, so yes, <laughs> you can yeah. do Orange Justice. Uh, what's some what are my other Fortnite? Um, look, I don't even know Fortnite. Like that's like a whole the other language. Orange to Justice me. I don't. dance, you know what I'm talking about, though, yes, right? Yes, yes. yes. You do Thank you for mentioning. <laughs> Thank you for uh, mentioning the games. Um, the games, just for example, that they're going to be playing are um, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Mario Kart, Super oh, Smash oh. Brothers, Tekken, Madden, 2K. Um, I think FIFA is one of the other ones. Um, they may we may actually break out a, a Mortal Kombat tournament, but that's a little a little violent. So, you know, I mean, there's certain games that I prefer that kids play. Mm -hmm. But I know that if we restrict them, then, you know, that may be a problem yeah. for them. Let them choose. Yeah. You know, if your mama and daddy say you can play, you play it. <laughs> I'm all for that. <laughs> <laughs> what about in the future? I mean, what other events do you have? Do you have anything else coming up on the horizon? Are you with anything particular that you're working on? I know you guys be both be busy, you and your partner here. So is, is there something else beyond? I know we mentioned when we talked kind of a little bit last yesterday, um, last night about like, you know, incorporating other um, athletes, other professional sports. Um, is there other things that you guys got w that you're working on or that you can talk to us about? Or is there something that you hope to have getting done out here for Las Vegas? Yes, um, we're targeting Memorial Day weekend. You know, we got to focus on the belt that's in front of us. <laughs> right. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Um, but, you know, I don't see any reason why we can't turn right around. We're, we're targeting Memorial Day weekend. A lot of families are going to be out, you know, from out of town. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll probably use the same venue. Um, we actually, I must say this, we were going to use the Luxor Esports Arena uh -huh. that we were at last right, night. Right, right, right. Um, and they let all the fans down. Luxor did. And, and, you know, <gasps> Luxor is only Ooh. the casino, so it, I think, I believe it's a HyperX cloud. Yeah, yeah the HyperX right. Sports. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so I don't want to blame Luxor the casino, but the Esports Arena, I mean, they really let well, a lot of the fans down. they're a corporation, right? Yes. Yeah. And they made it a little bit hard for us because, you know, we had to, you know, find a new venue and make some changes at the last minute. And we just want to um, thank GameWorks for opening up the red carpet, uh, for making everything, you know, work for um, not just us, but, you know, for the fans. And they made it about them, you know, so we, we want to give back and doing another another event there. Um, I'll be honest, the future event, you know, we are scheduled to be at the ESPYs and, um, you know, there's some we're getting some calls from some of the different alumni, you know, from the NFL. Um, we're getting a lot of calls now from people that see this as the new way to promote their events or to nice. promote uh, the Sweet. activity. Yeah. Um, but I'll say what what you guys actually witnessed, you know, because um, you guys were at the actual venue. You there's what I I see is a, a lack of unity in the sport of boxing. Um, there's a lot of people that are money hungry, and you know a lot of the old heads are fighting, and they can't get along. So what we're gonna do is give these fighters. You know, I have a vision for these fighters to fight against each other without putting their physical hands on each other. So okay. there's virtual reality boxing. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, right, right now virtual reality is starting to uh, really right. pick up and the technology is getting better. So I believe that we can have the best fights out there in the game with virtual reality where nobody can get in the way. Um, no doctors will be needed as well as having, you know, just your regular gamer off the street able to now fight against you know uh an actual well-known fighter that's my vision and i believe you know a lot of a lot of these guys the entertainment that 
you know we're putting out there right now it's it's so harmful for them down the road i mean mm -hmm. we can just look at all the fighters that we all enjoyed watching at one point it's, right it, there's a collateral yeah. cost to, to doing this yeah yeah I, I think floyd is really the only fighter i mean he's not the only but he's the only fighter that comes to mind that i can say was very successful outside of the ring after his retirement mm -hmm. you know but even then he's still you know taking a fight um or two you know exhibitions yeah. and whatnot and I, you know, I know that he would rather not do that, you know, right. if he had to. I can only imagine what these guys, you know, can do as far as these young fighters, you know, being able to extend their career by not having to put out, you know, the same physical damage. Um, I think we can put on a better show, put on more entertainment. And, you know, it would still be real. You know, I, I know that the sport of boxing, again, it's a cruel and violent sport. And they're really and I, just I getting... I love that. I, I love the, the violence <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we all do. I mean, you know, we're, we're fed and, and I, I, I love the fights. You know, I enjoy, you know, I, I uh, wouldn't mind getting in the ring myself at times. And, you know, I have. Sometimes you got to settle yeah. stuff. Yeah, yes, yes. You know, but I also see, you know, when it comes to the business, you know, there's other ways that we can earn revenue off the sport. And I think this is going to be the new exhibition. But in the meantime, it's going to create more jobs. You know, a lot of these gamers, a lot of these um, these esports um, kids or, you know, baby boomers, we're going to give them jobs where, you know, I guess as millennials, whatever you call them, you know, they typically um, the perception is they can be lazy or, you yeah. know, maybe they feel entitled. I think what we can do with, you know, this type of environment is show kids how to run a business, show them what it means to actually get involved in a promotion. And I mean, uh, Sports Nisa, I, I saw you, um, you know, covering, you know, the media, doing a very good job at the Thank events, you. I, and, you know, and, and you ladies um, having your own show. Uh, what's really important, you know, beyond everything is I, I think women's need to get their fair share of the sport. Yep. 100 I think, I think and so. and we comment for it too. and <laughs> the players that are female need to get the pay they deserve and that's a whole other that, episode that's a whole other episode i know i know yeah, I know. yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. so but I, we actually was good with, we're going to share it later on we did have an interview with nancy Lieber, lieberman Lieber, last yes, night yes, in so regards to having lisa leslie mm -hmm. joining on big three and having a little more not only but you know female perspective there but also you know but it even extends from that because we were talking to someone that's corporate with yes. Big Three that said there's a lot of women influencers that are on a corporate in level end, in the yeah. back mm -hmm. end for this um, tournament as well and this league. Yeah, you know, you mentioned something about kind of like doing promotions differently um, outside of the ring because what happens is there's just one big pot and that's really around fight weekend and yeah. fight night. But then you get fighters like Devin Haney who started his own promotions company at the age of 19. He's yep. not going to be the only one. No. There are going to be other younger yep. fighters who are much more entrepreneurial and forward thinking because they got all the information. Mm -hmm. You know, Sugar Ray didn't have that kind of information. Well, they took the Don so. King al element out of it. And Don King, when he was running everything yes, right. as far as promotions, now that whole element is just eradicated. Yeah, and everybody is self promotion. There's a few. There's two, there's a, of, them there's two of them now. But it's not as influential, as you right. will as it was in the past. You can't contain it. You can't because contain the information it because is so not, available. And with social media, you can self-promote all day, self-promote all, all day. You don't have to pay anyone to do that right. for yourself. So I can see a lot of these younger fighters thinking about how they can um, consolidate their income. And it, and it doesn't have to be all in a ring. No, they it doesn't. They can control their destiny in terms of their finances without jeopardizing their future. Look, how many, how many blows can you take? How many yeah. fights can you have? I mean, you look at a fighter like Chocolatito, for instance, like people thought he was, you know, going to be around for a minute. He hit that vicious knockout and it's been difficult coming back. Everybody is going to meet their day. Mm -hmm. And so what you hope is you can choose like when your day is like Andre Ward, for instance, although he's looking like he's trying to come back. You know, what yeah. is that? Uh, I, I was thinking about Andre Ward know. trying to come back. What like, did he just about? have a breakup? He's getting back in fight shape. He's getting back out yeah. there. I don't know what was happening um, with Homeboy. But yeah, but I do I, I think the way that you guys are approaching it, kind of like this non break your head kind of promotion, it's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Well, you know, it, I, I will have to say it really comes down to um, the relationships that we've been able to build mm -hmm. um, through time where there's not a manager, there's not a trainer, there's not a promoter, there's no one that can really get in the way at this point because, 
you know when you have trust you know in this game and, and when you have trust with these fighters and they understand that you actually do care about them and you're not looking to exploit them that's really what comes first um they tell me personally what things are you know causing them issues you know we don't really sit and talk about you know their contracts and we don't really uh, talk about you know things of that nature but what we do talk and what we do discuss is a way that they can take a hold of their own careers and i see too much of the same old oh this guy doesn't like this guy and they try and make you know the manufacture it yeah yeah and and you know i i guess it goes back to that canelo i mean not canelo the um the connor um habib fight where you know in order to build that fight up yeah. you have you know busted bus windows getting smashed people's eyes you know people almost going blind you know it doesn't take that much uh you know uh, buffoonery to get a fight you know promote right right Right, clown, absolutely. Clown, I don't know how clown. we're doing on time. No, so, so that's no, why good. I just so, wanted to give a little wrap so, up. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are having this tournament this Friday. Yes. yes. Uh, what are the hours and how long is this? Game works, to Town Game Square. Square. Yes, it's from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. But please don't come at 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, because that. Yeah, be yeah. There. You know, um, you can also keep later. in touch with us on our social media, yeah, which is at 100 Deep Media on Instagram. Again, it's 100 Deep D E P and then media. Um, you can follow our posts, um, check our stories. Uh, we usually run into good people um, like you guys. Yeah. And, you know, again, I can't say enough when I found out that you guys are um, about, you know, women's sports, women broadcast. Um, I think it's very important for us as men to support that. Appreciate and, uh, it. I Appreciate also think that. that women need to support um, each other a little bit more Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so, 100 G man, right here. Man. That's 100. <laughs> Egypt in the building deep. with David. Wait, David we... didn't want to get on the mic and he's being shy over there. But <laughs> did we ask to who both he of got? you men. Did we ask who he got? I mean, uh, yeah, who are your um, athletes that are competing? Can you okay. just name a few for yes, us I of can. what we got going on? Um, so you mentioned Devin. Um, Devin's really close to us. He'll be making a, a I like stop. Devin. Devin's cool. Um, mm -hmm. We have Rancis Bartholomew, who just had um, a fight this weekend. Costa Mayor, a.k.a. Cepillo. Um, you know, we have several different divisions. Michael the Bounty Hunter, um, Shane Mosley Jr., nice. um, Caleb Plant. You know, he may or may not stop by. You know, he, he can... He's got a lot going on, but you know what? Don't be surprised if he comes through. Um, I, you know, we got one guy. You know, they they say he's undisputed. Uh, P for P, he may stop by. Um, you know, it really is going to depend a little bit too on the turnout. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times these guys they want to see a big crowd. They drive by yeah. and they're like, yeah, yeah. So everybody, please come out. Yes. Yeah, and and locals, this is a this is a good thing for Vegas. There's plenty to do definitely in the city, but this is such a unique twist on a Friday night. Even if you come as a spectator, even if you're coming just it, just to encourage and watch and see that these tournaments occur and this is something that's starting, come out, support. It's a yeah. big weekend. It's a big yeah, weekend, but come out, there. support. You I'm coming? bringing like a handful of folks. So yes. I will be there. Shout out to oh, the sports nice. that I represent. Yeah. And I would like you to do some live coverage too, if you could. Yeah, yeah so we can see. Stop yes. by. I'll and you're going to stop by and yeah. Mel's going to stop camera. by. I unfortunately won't yeah. be there. But I will be there in spirit between these two beautiful ladies. Yeah. So yeah. my energy Bring is their energy. So oh, yes. we'll be yeah. there. Oh, yeah. For sure. I got two little ones, and I'm bringing the auntie to watch them while I work. <laughs> okay. Hey. You know, go ahead, auntie. I go ahead. Really, you know, they got plenty of games. If, if I need to do a little babysitting, they can come <laughs> run around with me. For a little bit. No, if I'm somebody got to watch them because they don't act right, then they got to see me. <laughs> <laughs> we already went to Target to pick out the spoon. So <laughs> it's like, it's spoon uh, respect. That's what's yeah. up. Who you got in a fight, though? Who, who are we having? No. no oh, in this fight. Yeah. You know what? I'll be honest. You know, I want to see Jacobs put on a great performance. It's hard to root against Canelo. Yeah. Um, you know, Canelo is just so dominant at this point yeah. of his career. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he could do so many things inside the ring. You know, Danny, I, I know he's working hard. Um, he's actually been training um, here in Vegas over at uh, Bones Adams. And, um, you know, I know they have some great, you know, training going on there. And, you know, they have some different um, game plans and tricks for Canelo. So, you know, it should be a good fight. You know, my thing is, I just wish the, I don't want to say anything bad, but I wish the undercards were a little bit better, you know. Well, they, what are you thinking about that? Because we were going to initially have uh, Joseph Diaz Jr. on here. And oh, Joseph Diaz, he, he's a great fighter. So, you know, I, I just, but I still, you know, a lot of these. And then Tevin Farmer has his matchup, too. Is he fighting on this card? Not on this card. Not on this no. card, right? He's oh, just there. Yeah, 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 he's there to promote. And, yeah. and that's the thing. I think we need to get back to at least have it almost like a double header. 
Yeah, yeah. that would be nice. Yeah, like that would UFC be nice. Does. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, that yeah. Would be nice. Give it, give you know, co-main events that are yeah. explosive. Yeah. I mean, we have enough you know fights that can be made, you especially know, in on a big weekend. Yeah, you know, like yeah. these big mm-hmm. weekends. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. I mean, I mean, that just brings everybody to the yeah. city. The city yes. is just booming. Yeah, and I think it just puts too much pressure on one fight. And one thing I do have to say is some of these undercards, though, you know, they have been, you know, even better than some of the main events in some mm-hmm. cases. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I don't want to say, you know, anything too bad about the undercards. You know, we got Fidel, Ali like and Anthony. Yeah. But, I feel like that you know, might be a good one. That though. might be yeah. a good fight. You know, I, I wish we could have more cross promotion yeah. because if you have more cross promotion, now you can make better fights on those undercards. Everybody, yeah, 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 it's yeah, a much yeah, better. Yeah, absolutely. Fight. Well, they're gonna have to do it because if they don't, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna we're gonna say, hey, you know what, you old heads, you know, we're we appreciate the legacy that you've left us. We appreciate the history that you've uh, given to the sport. But now it's time to, for the for the for the new the new sheriffs in town. And um, you know, I'll just I don't like to say too many names, but I've been hearing this whole back and forth as far as. Hearn versus Heyman. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm just gonna say it. You know, competition all can can bring up you know mm-hmm. people's game. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually causes people to you know step up their performances. Mm-hmm. So I don't think competition is bad by any means. But what I what this is really about, it's about streaming versus pay per view. Mm-hmm. And if we really want to get technical with these networks, um, Disney just purchased Fox. Disney just um, purchased. Um, oh my gosh, they already own ABC right. and ESPN. And so they already own both. So when we're saying streaming versus um, pay per view, there There's is no, no streaming. No, there, no, not at all. Although yep. get your nineteen ninety nine up because the only way you're gonna watch this fight this weekend is on the zone. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's well, right. Well, I know a mm. couple of ways, but right. yeah. I don't say nothing. I'm not like people coming. Yeah. I don't mind talking to police. I just don't like to go to where they work. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I don't know. I don't know. So what you're talking we, we about. just wrap it up in a little yeah. bit here but it is Cinco de Mayo weekend so not only do we have your guys' event tomorrow night yeah. it's May uh, May Third. 3rd we've got the big fight of course for Canelo May 4th you've also got we wanted to mention just real quick because we haven't talked about our Las Vegas teams yet yeah. um, the Aviators they had a five game stand they, yep. where they've been in I think North like in Fresno right now but on Friday they started a 12 game homestead, homestead which yep. is one of the longest in their mm-hmm. history they're going to face off I think against Fresno Tacoma yeah. and I think Salt Lake or yeah. something like that and but you're going thing, to the Saturday game. I'm going on and Saturday. I'm going to Sunday's game. Mo will be there on Sunday to the Aviators game. So we're excited to see that. The ballpark is beautiful. You guys haven't been out to the Las Vegas ballpark. Oh, it is absolutely it's, gorgeous. It's, and especially is. right now, before it gets to be 130 degrees outside, yeah, go. now is the time to go. Um, they've also, I think Saturday is a hat day. I'm not sure what they're giving away on Sunday, but they give out great stuff. There's a and big up to Fox. Too. Mm-hmm. Oh, there is. And big up to Fox Network, too, because they just picked up the yes, Aviators on their streaming. So. And that'll yeah, be nice. Yeah, what what nice about the Aces? I mean, I, I actually got to say, I, you know, I don't think the Aces are playing right now. Did you catch no, no, no. Bill? Yeah, did you see Bill and Beer up there? Okay. Bill and Beer, Lamb Beer, right we, here. We have a we have a home girl, AJ Hashtag. Wilson. Hashtag. You know, shout out to AJ. She's yes. a baller. Yes. Um, you know, one thing, I, you know, I was actually surprised. I have a lot of friends in the uh, as women's in the sport. You know, Ruthie Bolton Holyfield's been a friend of mine. Lisa Leslie, etc. Yeah. And you know, I saw how they came you know and built the WNBA so right now I mean you know I didn't expect the Aces game to be as hyped as it was oh, and yeah. as exciting oh. I was actually I think it's actually a very good um, event for families to get product so yeah, yeah. And the Aces oh, yeah. they start their season on May 25th yes, against right. the Sparks here in Las yep. Vegas which is Memorial Day weekend which is going to be crazy problem because they just oh they got the sisters and playing they got the women sisters yes, yes the yes. Gay sisters that's yes. going to be a good look for them um, the Aces have been you know they've got their little practices and scrimmages mm-hmm. shout out to the Gonzalez twins Good's, Dakota yep. and, and Dylan they're both I saw their I've been social media yeah. stalking a little bit they're both um, out of, practicing with some of the Aces that are in practice us right now um so we've got practices coming up it sounds like camp happening um we're excited for the aces we're excited they just got a new floor as well and the dance team had their tryouts over the weekend oh. so the wild card team nice. is out hey. in effect um and the other thing is of course our lights so uh oh, man, the lights, i want to go to yo, this game listen, so Cinco de Mayo weekend at a lights oh, my game gosh. this and is the about drama. to be I want, I want the cape I just want, hey, Harry, want Harry, the Harry the listen, I already have to be at the Aviators game. Mo's going to try and make it back for the in time yes, for this game. I'm but we need two Mo, capes because be we're going to be, we want capes oh, for the show man. on Wednesday. I want to wear the wrestling mask and the cape. Especially if they the win. The masks were last year, though. 
Oh, so but wait, Mike's package know. had a mask and a cape <laughs> in it. I'm putting them on blast. He, best Ooh, my my he just posted a, a picture. Package. He had a, he had a little You know, he sent that to me in my in my text. He's like, oh, that last picture I mean to send. I'm like, oh, you uh, yeah, just rubbed yeah, it in yeah, our yeah, face. Yeah, 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 just rubbed it in our face. Yeah, just rubbed it in our face. But it. yeah, we can wear those capes. So yeah, the lights is also this weekend for Cinco de Mayo. And then they have a back-to-back. So they have another home game. Yeah, it's part of Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's part of that. That's part oh, of that. Uh, back to back. The U.S. Yeah, o- the second, second U.S. Open yeah, Cup. Yeah, right. Yep. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Open Cup. So got it's two home game chances, but the Cinco de Mayo will be a great, uh, great the time. Best ever. To, uh, this is a good weekend. It's going to be popping. It's going to oh, be a good weekend. I'm excited for it. the aviators have the $2 uh, beer special. And they got too. Wag Your Tail yeah. Wednesdays, Bring yes. Your Dog on the Grass. Yes. That's Pretty on impressive. The grass. Yeah, yeah. The little grass spot they got there. They have it for the dogs. So your dog, you can come in the game with your dog. You have to buy a dog ticket. And then you can bring them on the little grass section that's right there in right field. Oh my goodness. It's yeah. super cute. It's really cute. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know how many kids want to be playing on the grass after a Wednesday game. Uh, you best but, not. <laughs> what time wanna... is your game on Saturday? I believe it's 7, 7.30. So 7? you have a night game and then Sunday. Yeah. No, mine's a 12 o'clock. A day game. Okay. Mine's a day uh, game no, on Sunday. No, the lights. No, no, we're talking about the aviators. Okay. There's so much going on. There's so much going on. So much going on you can't even keep it track. I know. So yeah, anyway, it's, it's, it's a good time It's a good time to be in Vegas. It's a good time to be in Vegas And can I tell you, I was trying to fly back earlier on my flight from the Bay Area to Vegas, and all the flights for Saturday are as, as full it's like, as well, it's because, you know, why? No, it's, it's a fight. fight. It's a fight. Cinco de Mayo and the fight. I totally forgot about aviators on Sunday. I was slacking on my pimping, but maybe it might go. You should. Oh I mean, and compared to gold mine tickets, they're all cheap. They're all cheap. <laughs> for real, for real. I mean, real. listen, you can go to a lights game for thirty dollars for with four people they have a and fun, some popcorn. They have well, a they have a four pack pack now. Yeah, they have the a four pack now. So you can yeah. pay for the same seat for four, four games for I think it's fifty bucks. Yep. Exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, I mean and it's he, a good deal. I mean, yeah. you know, even um, our playing greet, you know, we're we're trying to keep and our but, prices down. Yes, you know, because you know, with all the different bills and all the different things that you know your typically family, your typical family have to yeah. pay for. You know, kids need school clothes, and they're playing maybe even youth sports, or you know, maybe they got they're yeah. in baseball practice, gymnastics, whatever. A lot of parents don't have a lot of extra money, right. you know, to entertain their kids. So we're not looking to entertain, we're looking to build memories. And if they can build memories with our fighters and then we can come back, now we can reinforce stay in school. Mm -hmm. Now we can reinforce, Mm -hmm. you know, you know, respect your parents and, um, you know, work hard, you know, find out, carve out your own niche, you know, be creative, you know, own a business, learn to get a job. You know, we want to do, you know, a lot of developmental things with these kids, but it's hard to talk to them. When you're just, you know, giving them nothing cool or nothing fun to be excited yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, attention span is real. I mean, yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> my six-year-old was like, "I want to see that Canelo fight, Mom." And I was like, right. "But any, but I mean, to go to an arcade That's and gonna be, be up there, like, yes. man, it's gonna well, be." Well, we're all excited for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm very We're gonna be there. We're gonna yes. hang for a little oh, bit. Um, one more time, give them your social media to contact. Yes, at the number one hundred one zero zero. D E E P media. Um, that's it. All one word. Um, you know, I'm Egypt. This is my partner, David Mitchell. It's been a D pleasure. Mitch. Um, yes, D Bill, Mitch. D Mitch. Um, I just want to just say one last thing. D Mitch actually manages several, um, several different talents, you know, NBA, music, um, you know, football. So, you know, we really balance off of each other because he's probably handling a million, a million schedules. He knows where all the parties are at. You know, he knows what's going on on the inside. And, you know, we, we work our magic, you know, from both ends. So Sweet. great. And then, yeah. it, Cassandra, so. where can everybody find you, of course? It's the underscore sports Nisa, primarily on Instagram. Um, and I'll be out in these streets, too. I hear that. <laughs> well, for me and Mo, we appreciate you guys turning in. I can't believe this show is already wrapping up and we uh, didn't get a chance to talk uh, NBA. I have words uh, for well, James Harden. Well, I can Harden. tell you this much. Philly is about to take this game. Uh, so I have words for James Harden. I have words. Okay. Even the Iverson on the court. On the I know. Your eye gouge looking hot. means yeah. nothing to me. I, I know. That's, that's my well, well, we know James Harden is, you know. Anyway, uh, so that's it for that's us. It. You can catch us right there underneath the screen, underneath the name. You can find us. Yes. And one last Somewhere thing. in the bottom. We don't have balls. But we know how to cover them. Yes, we do. Catch we do y'all later. Cover. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Yeah.